Hey, Bob, we got a manufacturing defect here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Those are good down there. Y'all got a recall on that or something? I thought we'd try something new today. <laughs> Welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. If you guys have been watching, we've been building a uh, epic record truck on the HET M1070. If you guys watched the last video, you might have noticed it was sitting right there. The next video, it drove up to here. Woo! We got the, uh, we got, we got, just don't worry about the oil. We got it fixed. Yeah, look, look at this. It's, it's, it's fine. Got uh, Hunter and Mason over there working on some undercarriage on the D4. Unfortunately, I'm not getting a video on that because we got too much stuff going on. But there's plenty more. Everybody hates cats. <laughs> Kevin hates cats. <laughs> anyway, so uh, plans on this truck. Like I say, it's the third video. If you guys not seen, go back. There's two more videos in this thing. Us uh, putting the record boom on. Uh, Tucker laid down some sweet welds. Got that thing all mounted up so it won't come off. Um, we did get that working. We've got our two big winches up there still working. So uh, a few more things we gotta do. We gotta add fenders here. We've got toolboxes we're gonna mount on top of the fenders. Um, we've got an AC unit for the top of the cab. And what else? We got a light bar. We gotta uh, put tail lights and stuff on the back of the truck. And we gotta paint it. That's not in my department. Is it? We're actually getting ready to leave on vacation for a couple weeks, but uh, I'm gonna leave the rest of it in Kevin's hands. Hopefully. <laughs> So it's probably not going to get done? Is that what you're saying? No, no, it'll be awesome. I'm going to try to get these fenders knocked out for them, get that metal work and stuff done. So, yeah. um, I don't know about the air conditioner. That's all unknown territory. He's going to bring you guys along, hopefully. I think you can hit you and Randy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got it. All right, so we need to let the air out of this truck, I think, don't we? Oh, you want to you want to slam it? Slam her down the ground. So, okay. we, guys, remember the previous video? Actually, the first one we put a dump valve on and let the air suspension down. So, I want to let it down. We've got about three or four inches of clearance under it. Basically, we're going to put the top of the fender right flush with that right there. So, I've got some three sixteenths diamond plate. You guys can see that going downtown there. Got some three sixteenths diamond plate. We're going to form and build some fenders out of. Make some channel brackets up, and then I think I've got some. Uh, five foot long toolboxes that will set up here store all the hardware and all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah gotta go back up got stuff in the way okay we're uh we'll get a game plan here figured up some blueprints drawn up here and we'll get some fenders cut out keep driving bud hey don't put your fingers under there good operator can just drive on up Go down there, operator. Now, up, up. I said a good operator. Okay, well, we got some 3 16 diamond plate we're going to make the fenders out of. Kevin's going to set it up there. I've got uh, a drawing here somewhere. I'm going to. Um, you guys can kind of see that there. We got one hole cut out the wheel well. We're going to bend a three inch return on it and a six inch return ramping up. And I'll show you guys here in a second. And it says gold on there. Is that how much it costs? It's $5,000 with the steel over here. You go up. Going up. We'll get that squared up and start cutting her out. Watch out, Tucker! 
Tucker, beware! Torch! So we got a piece of diamond plate cut out here, you guys can see that, I'll show you that processor in a little bit. But uh, we went ahead and bent a 3 inch return on it, got an opening for a wheel well hopefully, that's right. Got this bent up to 45 to match up with that winch, and then Tucker welded these, this is 4 inch channel we made, cut a 90 degree corner out of them, pulled those over, weld those up, so we're going to use those as legs here and we'll set the fenders on top of them. I do have some big toolboxes over here. You guys can see in those boxes, there's five foot boxes there. We're going to mount those on top of the fenders also. Nothing to see here. All these pieces of paper glass are going to melt I got yet, Hunter. Yeah. There's a reason why he's in shorts. We had to go to a dentist appointment. And then we went and got some trucks. That's Whoa. another video. Where am I going? Tucker, you're doing a good job tacking. We got our Harbor Freight manual chain hoist here. We had to. We suck a, a cross-member there. So we got our fender there. We've got one more piece to the puzzle here. That's right. Are we ready to put it, 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 put it on? We'll get it right. That's uh. I get the commentary in there. I'm 45, maybe off a little bit. It might be a 46. I'm not going to be able to 46.5? Come you know. weld it over here, Tucker. Let me put my safety glasses <laughs> on. Yeah, for welding. I want you to... Don't send them balls of fire down at me. Right here. Yeah, I got my hand here, too. Go right there. There you go. Is that a good tack? Yeah. Good job, right. Tucker. Um... Go tack that over there. You reach there. Don't melt sausages, they'll smell. Good? Yeah. Oh, a little smoky things, boys. All right, let's take a peek at it. Is it gonna fall? No. Is it? See. Is that a 45 degree angle? Right, I mean. Hang on there. My protractor says. No. The mud flap thing's been under a little bit. I may have messed this angle up here. Hmm. Now everybody on YouTube knows about it. It's fine. Lift it up a little bit, Kevin. Mm. Whoa. Can you get a weld across here? Come on, Gapple Bees. A weld? <laughs> I can cut you a piece here. I got metal right here. Hold on. What do you want to do? How'd you do? You burned my cord here? Oh, yeah, you know. Got that gap filled up, Gap Master 2000. I think this is the longest spot I've ever done. Did you? There. Through there. <laughs> so, Kevin and Hunter, I guess, put the toolbox up. Yeah. I don't think you did, did you? Bubba, I put that up there by myself. I got these from Napa. They're made in the USA. But I don't know if they're painted in the USA because we missed some spots. Oh. I can even see metal back here. Must be related to me. For what I paid for these things. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think that's going to work well. We're going to uh, drill, pre mount those up, and then you'll probably put them back on after paint. You have to touch that stuff up. Me and Kevin's talking to you. I think we're going to put a little strut there to help strengthen this up. We do have four inch heavy oh, channel. Gus. Gus it? Because there's going to be a lot of weight in those boxes. But uh, that's going to look pretty cool, I think. For sure. 
Big ol' heavy wrecker. Looking good, ain't it? Now we just gotta do the other side. This turned out good. And I gotta make you. Just gonna drill, drill and bolt it. You wanna weld it, don't you? No, I don't. All the way around. No so we're welding these fenders on, but they're actually attached to the wrecker body itself. So if the wrecker body comes, unbolts will come with it. So we got one more brace to put under here. Then I gotta make you a tail light thingy here. Yep. We're getting there, we're getting there. I'm sure you guys are watching. I walked away. I was doing something else. Uh, that torch got knocked off here. It's got a magnetic mount so it can break away. But I'd say one of these pieces flipped up here because I wasn't babysitting it and messed that torch up. But I'm sure you guys seen it and will let me know in the comments. So fortunately, we got to start back over again and go from square one and we're in a piece of steel. Always something. Alright, got the uh, tail light housing cut out there. Tucker's going to clean it up and uh, then we'll get her bent and we'll show you guys how that mounts on the truck. Hey bub, good operator. Get underneath there and never have any help. Ah. Uh. Some counterweight, eh? Huh. Hang on a second. Thank <laughs> God. Put it up on there. Alright, we got this uh, piece all cut and bent, tack or tacker tucker. I was going to call you Tacker Tucker. Talking. Tucker's got it that. tacked. Pull that off so you can see. So we got a nice box there. You can put it back on. We got these flanges bent here where we can uh, bolt it off and remove it. That should work out good. We'll uh, make one for the other side. You got to weld that all up, make it look pretty. Can we get in there? Did I screw up? Uh oh. I just kind of thought about that. Did you screw up? I didn't screw up. I did. Hey, bub, we got a manufacturing defect here. What's that? Well, this nice box I built you. Yeah. Put some holes up here. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Those are good down there. Y'all got a recall on that or something? What just weld it at the top. Call again. Give me some bolts. Just weld, weld some bolts on just there. Just weld it at the top. We may be welding studs in there. Yeah. The problem is we got to do the other side the same. Hmm. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Good news this is, is what happens when you make really, stuff for the first time. <laughs> you guys are really enjoying yourself, so I like it. Yeah, it's a good time. Right. Just keep up the good work, bud. Good job, Major. Good job. <laughs> what? No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you did. Get it! 
He, he did a no look weld. That spot's definitely gonna show. All right, we got the fenders done. Tucker's got them all welded on. Got a little triangle piece put in there. Good looking weld. Looking good, looking good. Another tail light box is made. Weld in bolts. How you doing, bud? We don't really need studs down there. He told me he needed studs down there. So you did? Four studs. Four studs. Okay, you make them all match. I just gonna put bolts in. Well, she's coming along. We're about done plasma cutting. Uh, we gotta mount that other toolbox yet. And then uh, we got a few little odds and ends for things to do. I'm gonna go over that with you guys. Um, we're cutting braces out right now to go underneath those fenders. Gonna help strengthen that up. So, you guys know I put my plasma cut up for sale. It did sell. I'm not got completely paid for it yet, but that is probably the last piece of this thing is gonna cut out here. So, it's been a good one um, for sure. So, it's actually going to a school teacher in uh, Missouri. So, it'll be pretty cool to see. Shop teacher. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned for, uh, for what we're getting next. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm about done with this project. I'm gonna go on vacation. Okay. I'll leave all this up to you. Okay. Tucker and everybody got it looking good, looking, looking nice. And it's just up to you. We got, oh, we got an air conditioner that's going up top. I'm cutting one more plate out. I know I said I was cutting last pieces on that table forever, but that didn't happen, did it? The air conditioner got a couple hydraulic valves to put in, and what else? Besides paint, you're probably Lights. gonna do wiring after paint, I would say. We're gonna put a marker light here on the side. We got a stop and turn and backup light, and I think you got another light going here for light so we can see. Mm -hmm. I gotta print you off some paperwork for plumbing, wiring. And what colors you going? Black and white. Black and white. So you going black down here in fenders and white on the cab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to take that drill out for me too. Paint it black. Well, you can paint it, but I make that her own special drill out. Oh. With our new plasma table, oh. maybe if it shows up. And it's gonna be me like this? That's right. Okay, do it. A monkey? No. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the camera here with Kevin. I don't know how that's You're gonna welcome. go. You can get a couple clips here and there. If not, we pretty much got it wrapped up, but I don't know. It is a pretty sweet ambulance. They probably don't know what we're talking about, but there's a video on it. But yeah, I'm going to leave you in Kevin's hands. I'm going to be gone for a couple <laughs> weeks, so you've still got a lot to do, you know that? Mm -hmm. It looks like it's finished, but it's kind of like Mason's truck. It's not been finished for how many months, Mason? <laughs> it's complicated. It's complicated. It's the little details that take forever, so. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys here in a couple weeks. So I was looking for a notebook, and apparently we have no notebooks. In the office and Jay finds this in the back of his desk and he opens it up you know what's crazy this is all stuff when I went and bought that plasma cutter 13 years ago he went with me so we would wrote all this crap down so we'd know how to run it <laughs> isn't that crazy he's been in his desk for 13 years Jay you're a hoarder but it's just kind of crazy because we're getting a so new plasma okay. cutter I thought that was crazy so now you can give that to the new owner <laughs> I wrote this stuff down because we had no idea how to run it. When we was down there, we picked it up. I thought that was crazy. It must be yours. Anyway, I'm getting a list from Mr. Kevin here. To, uh, there's a lot of little stuff that's got to be done. My dog's also air conditioning. Mason's taking the grill out, it sounds like. But... Alright, I thought that was kind of cool. I thought we'd try something new today. It speaks volumes to how little activity has been taking place in the shop. We have birds. The quality of air has actually reached 
a high enough oxygen level content in the top of the ceiling now that birds can survive inside the shop. And you can hear echoes. But they're just so peaceful and that's all I do all day long is just watch birds go back and forth, back and forth. I don't even work on the truck anymore. It's kind of nice, isn't it? It's like going to the zoo. I'm entertained quite easily. Okay, we got to get this AC on. We got to get all these things together before the boss man shows up or else we're going to get in a lot of trouble. But I still do like these birds. I, I think I'm going to let them live here. Boy, somebody's Jake breaking awfully hard. Let's see who it is. Oh, oh, there it is. Bringing the big dog. Oh, he's got a big old pile of cat poop on his trailer too. All right. I have got to get focused and I have got to work or else this may be my last video. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, bub, good penetration. <laughs> okay, so we got our big red dot self-containing AC unit mounted up on top. Got our hole cut through, got our big honking plate all done up. And check out this super sweet Fast and the Furious wing LED light bar I made here. Clinton's going to be so proud of me. That's like five extra horsepower, ain't it, bub? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to love it. If he doesn't, well, that's just too bad because he's not here, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. Hey, bub. Hey, bub. I can see your welds from here. You're getting a grinder for Christmas. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good work, Mason. You sure this truck's not fit in here? to kick the PTO and I don't think it's going to fit. I lift it up enough it may clear. Huh. It didn't fit. Why not? You got the door open. Oh, did you really get it? You got to be kidding me. Yeah, I just scratch up my door. It's fine. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> These people. Boom! Not my door. Is that what you're going to say? All right, I just got back from vacation. Mr. Kevin's been, uh, he's been doing all kinds of cool things on this thing, haven't oh, you? Yeah. You got AC going on and we'll hop up here and take a peek. You got uh, controls down here. I think we did that earlier. Mm -hmm. You got everything wired up. About ready for paint. He's got uh, lights. You're going to take this stuff back off. Yeah. It's got wiring up here. You got our lights wired up. Got our air run. You got our glide hands and stuff hooked up too, don't you? Yep. We're 
ready to go, Bob. We're ready to go wrecking. We almost had to use it yesterday or yeah, Saturday. Yeah, we did. Well, we used a semi instead, so. Looking good. We'll hop up there and take a peek and see what you did up there. All right, so Mr. Kevin's got uh, some new hydraulic valves up here. The reason we had to add those, these two valves run these two big winches up here. And we need the power beyond to run that record boom. So we got some new valves run power beyond there. But you got some super sweet air cylinders. What's that do? Remote control, huh? So we got a little transmitter there. These are all going to be remote control, so you can run everything from the ground wherever. The uh, record boom is actually remote control too, so nobody has to come up here and uh, run these. But you still can if you need to. And then, what do you got going on up here? Super sweet light bar. Super we got a red dot uh, self-contained 24 volt AC system up there. But yeah, we got a lot of taping and covering and wrapping up to do. We got some custom-made panels. We got our AC unit up there and our flashy light unit. Mm -hmm. Looking good. And what colors are you going with? Black and white. Black and white. Randy's just flipping switches. It may blow up. Randy. Hey, I did all that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's a lot of taping and wrapping and oh sanding. And <laughs> I'm going to have to send some kids over here too. Mm -hmm. but, uh, when we get this all done, Peyton, I'll jump back in there a couple times as the process goes on, but nobody watches my paint and body videos, so I'm not going to film it. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Not really. People want to see them, but when I put them out, nobody watches them. So they're my worst videos ever. I guess they're boring. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll be back and she'll be looking different here in a little bit. Really? It's July, Bubby. Uh-uh. What you got going on out here? Oh, I've been painting some outdoor parts. Outdoor tires and wheels. That's right. Got some uh, record truck parts here. You guys probably can't see with the big ball of thunder out there. Why is it all white in here, Bub? We don't paint it. How many gallons of paint do you use on this beast? A lot. North of 10, I'm assuming. Yeah. So you epoxy primered everything you got white this is what your thing yeah. single stage looks nice yep. laid down nice didn't it yep. painted the wheel covers yep. and our tables <laughs> so you used white epoxy primer on that i know and you yeah. used black epoxy primer it's Under all covered here. up well you got a big old christmas present don't you That's right. so he painted the white yesterday epoxy primed it last week and Shot the light on her. Did you put your signature anywhere? Uh, did I you think do good? So. I think I think it's right between its eyes. Right between its eyes. Looking good, looking good. They're gonna get this dude unwrapped. And got a lot of work to do, you know what? Yeah. A lot of work. Hey, Bob, you're missing something up here. <laughs> Did you call for clean hands? I called for Soul Town right here, Bob. Yeah. What do you got? You got a big gun show going Oh, on. whoa. All the women's going to be all over you, bud. <laughs> Back up. Turn around. Don't hold me ring, Bob. What are we doing? Uh, Randy's on the forklift. He's going to bring the forks over here and carry this for us. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to. Somebody's got a greasy fingerprint in it already. That's all right. That's probably me. Hey, Bob, how many of those shirts do you have? Two. That's day two. We'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> when he washes the other one. Yeah, try it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Joe. What do we find out up here? Uh, someone forgot to leave the hook out for paint. Body. Look at that brown hook. It says look, that's going to look good right through that white hood. You know it. <laughs> you better get your spray can out. <laughs> Rattle can. Hey, yeah, this one, this one's, hey, it's got some white inside of it, Kevin. Oh, that's good. It must have poked through the paper. That's in case we need to bring our helicopter in here and pick them up. Right. Randy, where are you? Get that crap out of here. Hey, look at that nice Hold sunbelt on. green. Yes. I don't know if they like painting you. Kevin never likes it because I used to buy a lot of sunbelt green stuff and made him repaint it the right colors. You know, oh, I think you just lost it. He lost it. Closer we get, the less we have to carry. Right, Bob. Bring me over. Yeah. Hey, the color don't match. <laughs> She's on there. A lot easier painting the hood separate on these big old dudes. All right, we're going back to work and doing something productive. Thank you, team. Looking good so far. I wish somebody would paint my grill that we cut out. I mean. Yeah, I got it's supposed to rain like the next six days. Hey, I'm not getting another job in you're supposed to wave at all the police officers. I did. That's right. Well, I did you wave? Back to blue. Uh, I Are you in trouble? <laughs> Criminal. Huh. Do I need to call 911? Yeah. Report a film? <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, call 811. No, they know who I am. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> I was going to say he has a lethal weapon there, but not really. <laughs> I'm surprised he ain't lost it yet. A little sneak peek of the grill. get the camera on quick enough there you go is it still wet no. you just paint shut the door on it like all painters do didn't you said not my problem uncle scott where are you going with my race cars go play in the dirt. huh go play in the dirt. you got my ryan newman car it's ryan i had a subscriber drop those off hey are you all right there two chains the bub, two chains ain't gonna get there. We're gonna throw a couple big chains in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these are the tow chains that come with these trucks. You going up there or right here? You like that? Yeah, I'd probably bend that one. <laughs> it's so pretty. I wonder yeah. how much this chain weighs. Well, more than us.
she's loaded down there bud we're getting the road flares in there we got a glad hand air hose we got a fire extinguisher in here and a shackle i think that's uh we're probably gonna get some snatch blocks and stuff and put in here so the other side by the way you did an excellent job painting this i don't know if i've said oh, that I on video i think i told you but not on video yeah, right. you guys let mr kevin know what you think we'll get her outside in a bit but she's looking sharp even with the uh, donuts the white donuts Hunter let's calls go it the oreo let's go out here and look at this grill we cut this on our brand new CNC plasma cutter. You probably aren't going to see that video yet, but that's pretty cool. There, Bob. Custom fit. We do have the original grill if somebody wants it too, so you can paint it. Nobody <laughs> likes our logo, but I think it looks pretty cool. We'll get that outside and show you that in a bit, but turned out great. Mason's grabbing a couple shackles for a front bumper. You're going to have to paint those safety red or something. Anyway, um, we got to put winch cable on here yet. You guys have been working on this thing. We got all kinds of hours in this truck. We got uh, a lot of our uh, underlift axle brackets in here, straps for that, pins. I don't know what half that stuff does, but we got an idea. So we got our under reach here. We'll get this thing out and show you everything. Those axle brackets drop down in there. If this thing extends way out, boom, comes way out, but might notice we don't have any cable on there so we got two spools of cable we're gonna get that wound on there next double check all the lights kevin's got all the lights and stuff looking good in here we gotta make sure all the controls work we got remotes for the uh, auxiliary hydraulics on this record boom and we've got those winches remoted too so we're gonna test all that stuff out um so this cable we got two fifty-five thousand pound winches up there so my theory is we can pull that cable out. We can run a snatch block right here, short chain or something. And of course that boom lifts up or down so we can control the height of that cable from that winch up there. You know, if we want to turn and pull out the side we can or what have you. So, but uh, yeah, I think we're about ready for winch cables. Coming up next. Yep. What are you doing way down there? Getting ready to unloosen these clamps for the uh, cables. They come through here and go up around the clamp. Got all kinds of paint in there. Nobody likes Allen screws. We got the cable run up through here. I'm trying to go through here and do the snaky snake, bub. You know how these cables are. Huh. That's why if I had to take that bolt out all the way, then drop it down. Oh, wow. Take that one out all the way, and then I can slide that cable down. It's kind of an interesting way they fasten it. I'm not a record guy. that bottom one up a little. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're just doing one cable at a time. You guys see we got dual winches up here. Got that one side fed through there. I guess we're gonna do it the right way and put it on the spool. What'd you drop? All right, Kevin's gonna string that spool of cable out there. And then what we'll do, we'll hook the forklift to it, kind of like we do with the dozers, put tension on it and uh, wind it up so we get a nice tight wrap there on our drum. You guys can see way back there, they're going between the trucks. This cable must be 200 foot long or so. It's crazy how much cable they got on there. It'd be good. Zoom back out there. Way out there. Flashy lights. Checking all the lights and stuff out. 
So we got two cables wrong. They're like 250 feet long, so we're gonna pull the truck up through the garage so we got enough room. You ready to pull out? I see that. Light bar way up there. Is that cable hook anything, Mason? How far? Keep on going. All right, we got a remote control working. You guys watch this lever right here. When I let off of it, she's gonna flip up. Just like magic. Now, we've got another remote for the big winches up there. We'll show you those in a second, but this one will run the whole wrecker. Um, you want me throttled up or anything? You're going fast enough. Got Mason way back there. Depends on what time it is. It's only 1.30. Uh, we're, we're good, he says. We're gonna wind all this cable up and then we'll be back. All my hard work, all my hard work, and you stink and bird nest that up like a bait caster, bub. <laughs> I ain't ever taking you fishing. Yeah, there's Miley Cyrus. All right, come on, wrecking ball. <laughs> She's made of. So we had everybody worried about our controls getting tore up by rocks and mud. And that was actually just the owner, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah.
turn them down when they got yeah. these spikes in there too. And you really get into something. Oh, uh, we can get Mason first time. I mean, it's like 90 degrees outside, 90% humidity, yeah, but it it'll rain tonight and we can get Mason to mow tomorrow. we can make a pretty epic video. I don't know, it might be a little bit too small. like a little kid with a remote control to a new car. So we want to go out and see if the other winches work with your remote yeah. controls? Yeah. Somebody come buy this before he finishes it off. <laughs> Raise her back up. <laughs> up. Let's go find something to pull out. Bub. Where's my sweatshirt? I did a killer job right there. It's what, 90 outside? Yeah. We could hang meat in here, couldn't we? <laughs> up a uh, 24 volt self-contained air conditioner yeah and it's the best thing going right now it's nice this is a big old cap yeah are you ready yeah let's go find somebody stuck bub okay oh there's one we can pull him out those guys were stuck a couple days ago it's a shame we didn't have his truck done and well, we can get one of them stuck random people's reactions to the big truck. He said, what in the world is that, bub? We're ready to go pull somebody out. Yeah. One more thing. What's that? We need a CB. We'll oh, talkie we, talkie. We can't be first on the we scene got without some nice CB. Cold air. I mean, it don't get much better than this. But if we had a way to get in first, you know, when they call a wrecker, we'll just take it upon ourselves to be there first. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I think you hit it out of the park. I like it. You just need a I job see. now. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll find somebody. You know what the craziest thing I've ever seen is? What's that, buddy? A fella using a chainsaw like a weed eater over there. That's right, buddy. You know what's sad is they have a skid steer at the bush dog. And there's seven of them with That's chainsaws. What, 90 degrees out today? <laughs> 
But he's got his shafts on, so he's good. What a great moment to do a closer on a video right yeah. now. The chainsaw running. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Listen, all those chainsaws still going. We're just trying to figure out how they can pay four or five guys per with the chainsaw, chainsaw cutting per brush. Chainsaw. Cutting brush and grass. They're cutting grass. Like yeah. But they're doing a good job. I mean, a good weed eater would, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Low bidder got the job. Anyway, truck turned out awesome. Kevin did an awesome job painting it. Everybody involved, you guys seen the previous two videos. <laughs> Everybody's been so worried about, so the first video just come out, they're worried about all the tires are going to throw mud up, rip my controls off and all that stuff. So. Well, that's been pretty good. And somebody else, a lot of people worried about we didn't have no toolboxes. Yep. Now we do. I'm pretty okay. sure we got all that covered. So. took all of their comments and concerns into consideration. Yeah, yeah, even before the video come out. So. Did. Well, yeah, everything is working perfect just like we planned. We've got our two big 50,000, 55,000 pound winches up there and we've got two, uh, uh what we got up there 25,000 pounds each right yep yeah. then we got a 25 ton lift and under each we got over brackets in there we still need to get a few you know uh pulleys and snatch blocks and stuff mm -hmm. so we can go pull, pull mason out when he gets stuck in the ditch <laughs> with the lawnmower not in the least any overkill but this truck uh, is for sale so if you guys want to go check it out uh go to our website ccsurplus.com click that uh, trucks for sale tab down there and you guys can see this uh, thing for sale. So yeah. I guess if I like it good enough, we can build another one. There's a lot of work. A lot of hours went in this thing. So you ready to paint another one? <laughs> it's a freaking school. It's like a house, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> they got light bar in there. AC is nice and cold. Uh, I mean, it's it's got air ride suspension. We wired the uh, PTO up. So if you guys watch, everybody's been tagging Heavy D in all my comments. So if you guys watch their videos, you know you got that big green wrecker. And a few videos ago, he had. They uh, got this truck stuck, so they hooked to a big D8 dozer, I believe, trying to pull the truck out. Mm. Well, the problem is, you know, the PTO would only work with the air brakes on, so they were we dragging so. they were dragging their truck backwards with the brakes and stuff on. So Ooh. there's a little switch up under the dash. Kevin bypassed that, so we can pull this truck out with the brakes off, so it'll roll easy. So another little trick there. So, but uh, yeah. I guess they're going to have to subscribe to see this thing in action, right? That's right, because we're going to find something. We'll find something. Nothing anybody anybody needs something pulled out, CNC equipment, towing and recovering is in business now. <laughs> That's right. Unless Jay sells Tell it itself. beforehand. Yeah. Maybe Jay sells it so we don't have to do that. So, <laughs> no, I guess we could always build another one, but I don't know. Hang it. We got it in us? We got like 12 dozers out back we got to work on. So. Two here shortly. Yeah. yeah, probably. Two. Mm -hmm. Everybody always wants two or something. They'll probably so. want it repainted, too. So, yeah, you guys are interested in this, go check our website out. Um, give Jay a call if you're serious on it. Uh, we're going to post it up for sale there. So, if you guys have seen this video and it's a little bit older, we do have like 10 more trucks in there if you want another one built. We could probably build you another one up. So, um, but, uh, yeah, we're ready to put this thing to the test, I'm sure. If it just happened, if these guys over here with their little mowing attached, they had a skid steer. They got stuck right over there about two days ago. If they just we were just spraying oh. it was today, we were just spraying white. Oh yeah, today. I mean, I was this close to pulling it out and going pulling them out, but <laughs> I got hey, it. Take I got all them that out. tape off there. We I mean, we would have had the highway blocked and everything like this tow company <laughs> too. So we don't know what we're doing, but we would have figured it out. We'd so. have had enough lights on. We'd have called we Google legit. and said, "Hey, shut the shut highway their, down." Shut her down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well, I think that's a wrap on this one. If you guys like this video. I know you did. Give us a big thumbs up. There's no way you couldn't like this video. Right? They probably don't like us if they didn't like it. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you anyway. Yeah, drop your comments below on the builds. Let us know if you like the colors and all that stuff. I think it's kind of cool. We're trying to keep it kind of a universal color. Somebody buys it white and the black themes a little bit. You know somebody's going to want to paint it like neon green yeah. or red or something. Hey, look. There's our... There's our skid steer with mower on it. Oh, there she's coming. Oh, is it coming? Yeah, you guys way over there. Jane quit. Yeah. He's just sitting over listening. <laughs> anyway, we appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. We got plenty more cool stuff coming up. How'd you do, Bubby? Think it cut out all right? Stayed nice and flat. Didn't get hot. Well, we could have literally put that logo over the old girl, but how fun would that have been? We're kind of playing with the test and it cut the holes out very nice. We had some issues with the uh, letters. We put a little bit too long of lead ins and lead outs, but uh, a little different program than what we were using last time.
gonna be ready for Mr. Kevin. Let's hold it up next to the other one and see how it looks.